It's 106 came, yeah, your girl Shay did it here. Having the pleasure of sitting down with my guy, Made in Tokyo. Man. What's going on? Um, Everything's going on right now. Tour, I decided to tour with Big Sean. How did that even come about? So, um, I was following Big Sean. On Instagram? <laughs> I was following Big Sean on Twitter. I was yeah. showing love to him, and um, I was really listening to 2088. Mm -hmm. um his project with janae yeah and i was showing love to both of them and i got a girl that's a visual artist she's an artist and i kind of just in a way like as far as the word look up to but in a way where like appreciate them being a couple and like really like i'll see sean like say like a blog post is big sean and his girl yeah and he'll correct the blog and be like big sean and janae like or something like yeah, that where you will really like oh man is respect so i like i really took that like man i always been a, a shine fan but like i really became like just a whole in general just as sean as a person yeah so um i was just showing love on twitter liking stuff retweeting things telling people go get this project or this and that and then one day i see oh man sean follow me Cause it was just likes at first, just oh yeah. favorite, I see you. So I was like, all right, cool. Maybe you know, he heard my music, or he just thinks that I'm being a nice person that I like. I'm showing love. So yeah. After that, he follows me. I DM him, and I was just telling him like, yo, I appreciate your music. I'm a fan. I like what you and Janae got going on. It's dope. Boom, boom. boom. He was, and you know he had back super humble like straight up you know yeah, all of that just cool and then i then that's when i was like okay wow so he messaged back like he's not he's not hollywood all right cool nah, Sean's a real and then um one day i was like yo i'm working on this project and i don't have no features on it and like i've always been a like a sean fan let me just see if he'll get on this record that i got he didn't have time to do it. He wanted to do a record that I had mm -hmm. for him at the time. And it wasn't even Skateboard P. It was a record called Lose It. Yeah. And at the time, he was overseas with Janae. They was doing shows. And he told me, I'm sorry, I can't. Like, I, I'm not going to be able to make the deadline. So I was like, all right, well, you know, I got to put the project out. It is what it is. I'm thinking, you know, artists, it, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. And he's really busy. So, all right, cool. Two weeks later after the project was out, Sean hits me up and tells me, whatever is the hardest record on there, let me remix it. I got you. Mm -hmm. So I sent him the remix. He has me send it to his engineer, Max, in less than, I want to say less than two weeks or like a week, he sends the verse back That's for crazy. Skateboard P. And Sean's so humble. Sean texts me and he texts me the file of the, the remix and says, let me know if you rock with it. <laughs> really? I'm like... So you can make adjustments too. I'm it. like, Sean, you're Sean. What do you mean? Like, you killed it. Like He's like, I appreciate it. Boom, boom, boom. We end up, my first time actually kicking it with Sean, I hit him up because I seen Kanye had a, had a show in L.A. Yeah. And I've never been to a Kanye show. So I was like, yo, I've always wanted to go. I've been a fan since college dropout. But at the time, I've never had the money or never had the time to actually go do something cool and go to a show or whatever. So I told him that. And he was like, straight up? You never been to, like, you know, you know? And I'm like, nah, I've never been to a Kanye show. <laughs> and he's like, yo, if you're really going to pull up, I'll pull up with you. And I'm like, Okay. Word, I bet. Like, so I'm thinking, I right, I'm just gonna go. If he does pop up, he pops up. If not, I know he's busy. Yeah. So I'm really pulling up, and you know, like, with I've noticed with other artists, you might be, you might get all the way down to fourth quarter, and that person might go missing. They just don't message back. Right. Or you about to get a record with them and they don't hit you back. Right. And I'm thinking, well, you know, he's messaging me the whole time as me getting there. I stay like an hour away from LA. I'm like, yo, he's hitting me back. I'm like, oh dang, like we really about to link up. Like this is lit. Like, you know, so he pulls up. I think he pulls up with his manager. I think it was like in a Bentley or something. Like he pulls up in front yeah. and you got all these like, you know, when you go to Kanye's show, Everybody either dresses like Kanye 
or dresses like Kim K. Yeah. Like I noticed that I'm in LA and I'm seeing people that dress like they look like little like Kylie Jenner's uh, Kim K. And then you got people that's dressed with the merch and wearing the Yeezy boots and oh, all God. of this. And everybody looks like the like same. it's like this is Yeezy world. Like this is just straight everybody. So Sean, all his people are pulling up. So I'm like, oh man, like he's like he's really gonna come. I'm seeing. Like his manager, I know, Crave director, like right. all the people, like being a fan, you know who everybody is. So he pulls up, oh, nice to meet you, blah, blah. We walk into the, we walk into the, we walk into the show. Um, my DJ was with me. He's like, um, Sean tells me like, I think my DJ, actually my DJ wanted to go down to the pit to mm -hmm. turn up mm -hmm. with everybody and get lit. I'm like... I put my nice outfit on. I'm not like I'm not, not I, like I'm not I'm not going to the mosh pit right now. But thing is, I crowd surf at my shows, so like I'm with it. But it was just it wasn't one of the moments for me to do that. I wanted to really enjoy the, show. the Kanye show. Yeah. So Sean was like, "Yo, come with me. We go over where Mike Dean is playing all the instruments while Kanye's performing. Everybody's over there. All like all your famous people, all your A-list people. Everybody is watching it. Clothing like designers. Everybody's just there. And me and Sean is sitting there watching the show. I think it's the first time I told Sean that that I had a I had a kid on the way too. Oh. Like I was telling him, I was like, "Yo, like um, I got a kid on the way." He's like, "Wow." That's crazy. Like, you know, it's like, that's crazy. And I'm like this, yep, I'm about to be a dad, Sean, you know. And we was just talking about all of that. And that happened to me leaving from there. I remember being with Sean in the elevator. Kim K. Mom walks up. We're in the elevator. like, And she's like, Sean, my favorite person, all of this. And I'm just like, yo, this is really happening right now. <laughs> like, this is like where, like, you know, when you're in the elevator, it's different when you're in a room. Yeah. People don't have to focus on you. But when you're in the elevator, everybody kind of looks at everybody. Yeah. So it was just one of the moments, like, I'm really in this circle right now. Like, I'm really right here. And it's like, Sean's just most humble, most like, this could be your best friend before you even knew him. Like, super, like, yeah, this is my boy made it Tokyo, boom, boom. Like, if you was Kanye or if you was anybody. So I'm like, where I bet I get probably like maybe a month later after me, Sean messaging back and forth. We we ain't link up after that. And then my manager hit me and was like, Sean's people are offering you to go on tour with him. Oh, wow. And this is like right around the time that like his album is number one in the country, everything. I'm just like, yeah. what? Like, you know, like, huh? Like, you know, like, I bet. Then after that, the day of the video that we, when we shot Skateboard P, the video, the remix, yeah. was the day that my girl's water broke. Aww. The, that morning that I was getting ready to go shoot this video. So we go rush to the hospital, and the doctor's telling me she probably won't have it until tomorrow, but probably. She doesn't tell me yes or no, nothing, like just like kind of, she just kind of leave me hanging. So it's really my go to where we spent this much money on this video. Sean has freed his schedule, everything to if I don't shoot it today, it probably won't happen so because the tour is coming. The he has the number one record, like number one album, number one record, everything right now. You gotta like do it. So I'm looking at the doctor, like, yo, um, how, like, what percentage you think she might have it? Like, and she's right. like, well, you know, with these things, we can't really tell you. And I'm just like looking at my girl, my girl's like, this is one of the biggest moments of your life. Don't even tell me, like, you're about to stay, like, just go. Just go and make it back. Like, you know, just go. And I'm just like, in my head, I'm like, <sighs> like, this, this, this is like, is this one of those moments that when the girls tell you yes, but it means no? Like, I was like, is it one of those moments? But my mom was there the whole time. I went, long story short, I went, shot the video. The whole time, everybody's all turned. Oh, this video's lit. Sean just pulled up. Oh, man, your outfit looks nice. Worried about the baby. I'm thinking, I'm texting my mom like, she good? Everything good? You know, blah, blah. Meanwhile, we're sitting on top of the DeLorean, and Sean's telling me, um, matter of fact, this was right before it was number one. Like, actually, we shot this video before his album dropped, because I remember him telling me, I hope people like this album. Yeah. And I'm like this. Meanwhile, you're thinking about, I hope people like this album. I'm hoping that she doesn't give this baby right now. And he's like, man, that's crazy. Like, and I'm just like, yeah, it's crazy. Like, we'd be having these moments sitting there talking like, 
it's to the point where I don't know. I see Sean as being like, I don't know. Every since I met him, I realized that you can be sane and still be popping and yeah. still be like at a certain level. Because I was just sitting there, I'm like, man, I met a lot of people in the last year, and I feel like you got way more going on, or you're on your, you done put out more albums than them. You got way more accomplishments, right. but you still hold yourself at a level like. I hope people like this Even himself or like, you know, like, and I'll be like this man, like I thought one day that like maybe like at that level, I wouldn't be that way. Mm -hmm. But I felt like, man, he sounds like me right now. I haven't even put out my first album and I'm like, I hope people like this. And Sean's like done put out a couple and he's like, Chill. I hope people like this. Yeah. And I'm like, this Sean, like you've already had a core fan base. They love you. What are you talking about? Yeah. Like meanwhile, I'm like over here with the most pressure of like, I have to put out the first one. <laughs> and you and you've had plenty and you've had hits and you've had songs with Nicki Minaj, Drake, everybody. Yeah. So yes. I'm just like all of this coming together to being on tour to the night before last night. I told Sean, I was like, I appreciate you bringing me out every night of the tour like every night i perform my set and then you bring me out in the midst of like ass and blessings to perform the remix yeah and it's like like i'm like you don't have to do that and he's like come on man you know and i'm like this sean i'm doing what you would do if somebody brought you on tour you would tell them that you appreciate them right and he's like you're right all right you know like i'm like this come on with all that oh uh, you know you and I was like, this, yo, yo, all these fans waited outside. And they're your fans that's waiting with pictures and shirts. And half of them are like, yo, made in Tokyo. I got a picture. Like, pictures that are, like, well printed out wanting me to sign them. And I'm like, yo, Sean, like, they're outside. He's like, you're made in Tokyo. Like, come on. Like, you know, and I'm just like this. You right. You know, like, but at the same He's time, in my head, I'm like this. Nah, like, it's still sitting in my head. Like, I'm sitting here. Yeah, I'm on tour with you. But, like. I'm still like my fans might be growing every day, but I'm still right here, kind of like that little kid that always wanted their music to be there. Yeah. So like now that it's getting there, I'm still like, yo, chill, yeah, chill. Like, like you know, yeah. like chill. Like all right, I'll take a picture. I was just at the mall, just picking up some underwear and shirts and stuff like that. And there's a group of like you could tell straight bay like kids like yo like yo like um one older head that was with them was like yo. You got that Uber song? Like, yo, like I was just playing it the other day. Boom, boom. And I'm like, okay. And this dude's older than the kids that was there. Yeah. So like, and they're like, like, we don't know who this is. And he was like, this, like, tell him who you is. Because he didn't even know how to say my name. He just knew I had the Uber song. And I'm like, this man in Tokyo. I was like, um, Uber everywhere, you know, boom, boom. And it's like this. Oh, snap. Everybody's Snapchat came out. Yo, like, yo, this man in Tokyo here. Boom, boom. All of this. So That's I'm not like, weird for you? Is getting to a point where it's becoming normal, but when you go somewhere that you've never been, like it's always weird. I don't yeah. think it ever gets because you, when you keep yourself like right here, you got your mom that's super down to earth, your girl super down to earth, everybody around you super down to earth, so you can't be big headed. Yeah. So it just kind of it's always gonna feel weird to me a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like I like I thought that it would it would feel like normal, but it just it just it always feels like like. Y'all don't have to fan out like I'm normal. Like, He's like, I, I'm a chill like I like I watch cartoons like y'all. Like I pour my cereal the same way. <laughs> like um, I like McGriddles from McDonald's. Like I, I don't know. Like that's just me. Like I'm, like I'm a real boy. Like it's just it's what it is. Like. Well, I can't wait to see what happens when the album drops because I think oh, the fans are gonna go cool. crazy. Let's, is it finished right now? No. Like we got like four records done, but okay. I've been in the studio. Um. I got just had a session with Pharrell the other day. How was that? Now I know you wanted to to join his skate team back in the day. <laughs> like this, you just turn your <laughs> back head. in the day. I was like this, yo. Like so, um, Pharrell is Pharrell. Pharrell is definitely like everything that you think that Pharrell is. If you think like Pharrell, like with the beats, everything to being humble to like funny, yeah, all of that. Like he made it very comfortable to be in a session with him. And on top of that, Pharrell just had triplets. Yeah. And so we was talking about that, about me just having my, my son and him having three kids at a time. Like, I was just like, yo, like, this is crazy. I Like, I'm an any, any RD fan, Neptunes fan, like, yeah. all of this, like, to where it's like, I made a song called Skateboard P. Yeah. 
like yeah. obviously like i'm very aware of what pharrell has going on yeah. so um it was dope pharrell um and the thing too with pharrell was like we could do a ratchet song easily but i was like this i want you to take me to your world like that's what i grew up on listening to your stuff so like of course i don't want to do something that tokyo would do right i want to jump on something that you would do i want to do something that vibe so for us like oh you want to go there like all right cool <laughs> like you know boom like all of that like it was just one of them vibes like where you still sit back and you tell a story to people and you'd be like it's for real bro that me and sean um sean working told me don't turn my album in he wants to like help with some stuff oh wow so like i'm just getting some of the best help from like some of the like some, some of, of my like idols yeah so it's like it's like i know that like what i'm doing obviously people like the records that none of them helped with right like the records that i just did on my own to where i'm like the people that everybody likes to walking into here to see an i heart and all of this and seeing sean's face on there on the main thing where it's like these are the people that are like telling you like, yo, you got this. Mm -hmm. You don't even need me to help you with anything, but I want to help you. So if I know the world loves these guys and they just starting to get to know me, I know that the Office. records are going to be, they're going to be good. They're not going to let me fail. They're not going to be yes mans. Like, and these are some of the most like dope is like, legendary I'm like, yo, like people. legendary, mm -hmm. like from Sean to Pharrell to um, me and um, like the crazy to switch the twist in the album. I'm doing something with Jay Bavine. Really? Some like next level. And like my girl Spanish and all this. And she's like, oh my God, Jay Bavine, do you understand this reggaeton, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, I'm looking at everything on this guy. Like I see he's got a song with Pharrell and his artist Bia and like everything that Jay Bavine does is like, it's out of here. Like it's, it's reggaeton, it's big, it's a whole nother market. And I was like, you know, I want to have a mixture of everything because I'm not from, like I'm not the kid that's from Bay Area or I'm not yeah. the kid that's from Atlanta. From I'm from everywhere. So it's like my album got to be a reflection of me. Yeah. Like it's got to be a mixture that, and I haven't even gave people a reflection of me. I've been giving everybody the ratchet, turn, made in Tokyo, but like I haven't gave people that like the Limps mixture of the mixture of everything i haven't like i haven't even gave people that vibe or me really talking about my girl or like my family and all yeah. that stuff like i probably won't give them that soon just like i ain't showed a picture of my son yeah i was gonna ask like, you about i'm that. like this i'm like i'm like some of the like it's like this you didn't see kanye's son for the longest true it, you could probably ask a lot of people right now what does Pharrell's son look like? No idea. And they don't know. There's probably like two pictures online if you do see something. Like, so I'm like, everybody and their mama showing their kid right now. And I'm like, yo, can my son get, um, kind of like have a personality before I put him In on spotlight. Instagram? Yeah. Like, before he knows what's going on? Like, can he have a choice for that? Like, I want him to be able to walk down the street. If this gets too out of hand with my, like, my, like, my career i want him to be able to walk down the street and have a normal life yeah and not feel kind of overwhelmed sometimes because i feel overwhelmed sometimes and i'm not even at a certain level so i can only imagine somebody that's so young to feel overwhelmed and you don't really get to live that like to normal. be a kid you don't get to do the normal stuff and go to the park and have normal friends and yeah. do all of that versus like i can't go to the park I can't do that. I have to play in the house or I got to go or we have to build the park somewhere yeah. so you can play. And that's like, that's lame to me. Like, I'm like, I grew up normal. Is that one of the like things this. you're afraid of right now? Just I think that's, your that's success one of them. That's one of them. That's one of them family? things. Like, I'm afraid of it, but I would trade it all for the, all the success to take care of my family. I can see that. Like, I would put it all away and be like this. I would give all of my privacy, everything just so like my family could be straight. I like, but other than that, if it wasn't for that, Tokyo would be chilling at the crib. Like, I like doing music. I like doing all of that. And I think, like, I like it so much to where I think everybody else around me sees it growing mm -hmm. extra big. And I still stop to take pictures with every fan, everything. And my, my manager stopped me and be like, yo, we got to go. Or we got to do this. And I'm like, how did you say no? 
Like, how do you stop these people? Right. Like, how do you stop these? This might be their one time to get to see you. Exactly. Like, that one time that you said no might crush them. They may not play your music no that's more. That's all they'll remember. Not, like, that's one cell that's gone. That might be a group of people. That might be a whole high school that don't rock with you no more because you dubbed that one person that they all loved. So it's just like... You can't say no to fans. Yeah. So it's like you really got to get them like a like get security and stuff like that and let them be the like be the dicks like have like, everyone like, else do like, it. Like because like I can't I can't do it. Like I can't like uh, it's just like the way I am I can't. Well, the fans want to hear the music at yeah. the end of the day. That's what they really want. And I wanted yeah. to ask you because there were a few things that I had read about you that I was like, really? You mm. were in the studio with Jeezy. Yeah. What were you guys working on? G Easy. Actually, I was in the studio with G Easy. Um, Kyle, mm. my boy Kyle, shout out to I Spy, it's going crazy. Yes, it is. Um, uh, 24, my brother, E40, and g -Eazy. Of course. And actually, there's a record with me, 20, E40, and g -Eazy. That's, um, I'm on the hook. And I actually did the ad libs on E40's verse. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Like, it's just awesome, like, like when like, E40's 40? like, Yo, go in there, um, you know, do your thing. Like, you know, and I'm like this, like, you're like the ad lib king. Though. That's what I'm saying. Like, you like you know, like, I'm like, I want to hear, ooh, I want to hear all of that. Like, you know, <laughs> and you got me in there like, scare, scare. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, like, yeah. doing all that. And he was like, yo, you just going in there and saying whatever. Like, you know, I'm just like, yo, this is really one of them legendary moments. And g is super down to earth. Another one of those, like super down to earth chill mm -hmm. on stage with britney spears all of that and then like keep like yo um y'all hungry like yo i got food upstairs and like super chill but at the same time you know i was thinking jesus just is this white boy like mm -hmm. you know at the time before i met him and He's then it's the like Jeezy is super from the bay most down white boy that you gonna meet yeah like to where i be telling certain my fans they'd be like you did something with Jeezy, and i'm like this yo he probably more realer than all of y'all <laughs> like i'm like this is like this most down white boy that i know like so like you know i'd be going hard for Jeezy because i feel like it's like that his fans might look at me and be like Tokyo and like we so from two different but at the same time if y'all sit together and had an interview with me and G-Eazy it would be the most realest like conversation hilarious yeah, the both of y'all together he's dope he's dope he's dope that was a dope situation so would you say that track that you guys worked on is that for G-Eazy's project for that's his project? like he had us in there this was at his crib Jeezy like, cooking right there. Yeah, this is at his crib um, session. I don't know. Like, I, like my brother told me the other day he performed it out in um, in Bogota. Uh -huh. Like, out there, like, overseas. Like, I, I would love to see the video footage. But um, I'm just on the hook. And, you know, I turn things up. So it's a turn hook. And, <laughs> like, Jeezy comes in and spits. E-40 comes in. And my brother comes in. Me and my brother kind of do the hook together. So That's dope. It's dope. It's dope. Shout out, shout out to them. Shout out to the Bay. Like that, we got that, roots that here. Vibe. Apparently, yeah, with Jeezy, nah, Fody yeah, behind you. No, nah, it's cool. Now, what happened to the project? I heard that you were gonna do a project with Metro Boomin. Me and Metro. So Metro is the one of the most busiest producers in the world, and um, like. I don't have a project with him because we haven't got in for a lot of times, yeah. but like we probably did like four records. Okay. And like two of them are gonna be on my album. Nice. So like I was like, yo, if we're not gonna finish this album up, let me take I need, I need, I need at least like, yo, you need to send me some. Like, cause like <laughs> I, I need that. Like I'm working on the album and I need that. I want you on it. Yeah. So I got two on there. And then one of them actually I sent to, um, Big Sean, he has a session for one of them. Nice. And then the other one, Metro didn't send, so he must really like that one because like, he didn't that. send it. I ain't question it. I'm like, that's what you're doing. I know you're working on your album. I ain't tripping. Like you can have that one. <laughs> like so, um, that one that's lit. The that's dope. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to the bait too. Me and um Kalani working too. Are so, you? Yeah, she might be on the album too. So right now she's the most busiest woman. Like, she's killing in it right now. And she's killing it. Shout out to her. Um, I was just talking to her um, the other day, and she kind of she's like, "How's dad life?" And I'm like, "Um, I can't type all of that, Kalani. I'm a, like, I was like, she was like, you know what? Just call me when you when you got time. I'm I'm free, whatever, you know, blah blah. So, um, Kalani's super close with my girl, nice. my fiance, and. I'm cool with her and like it kind of grew it to where we have like this joke and she might think it's a joke, but I'm very serious. 
I told her I was like, this you're singing at the wedding. And she always says yes. She always be telling me, I want to watch your kid. I'm playing, like, babysitter, like, all Aww. of that. So, like, I got some dope. I think she's I got serious some dope, about that, Yeah, though. no, she's very, she's like, I got baby. She's like, I have baby fever. I'm watching your kid. Like, her and her um, DJ Noodles. So, mm. like, both of them, like, all the Bay, like, I feel like the Bay artist is super down to earth. Like, and. It's the culture out here. Yeah. Even Neff. Even Neff DeVero, like, all of them. Like, Turn up king. Like, all of them is, like, super, like, I don't even know how I fell in my lap to, like, all of them is just cool homies now. I want to hear you and Neff on a track together. That would be crazy. I think that would be the... That would be crazy. And we ain't never even talked about it, but we always be around each other. We always be like, yo, what up? I was like, you know, <laughs> take pictures together. Like, right, be right. On Instagram, all of that. But um, he's cool, man. Well, I'm excited for this new project, and I'm excited to hear this track with G-Eazy. To, excited to hear what yeah. you and Kaylani put together, especially. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's gonna be dope. It's gonna be dope. Um, I'm excited for this album. I'm excited for the, the rest of this tour. Tour doesn't end to April 20th. Do you think we'll get the album by the end of the year? Oh, you're definitely going to get it. I want to say summertime. Summer. Yeah, like when it's hot, you gotta drop some hot. So, <laughs> like, you feel me? You feel me? You know, like, you know, like, I had to plug that one in there. You feel me? But, but, um. <laughs> Nah, like um, that's around that time, and I wanted. I originally yet? was going to put it out before the tour, yeah. But then I didn't want to rush it, and then a random session with Pharrell happened, and then Sean's like, "Yo, don't turn your album in until this," and yeah. Sean's got the studio on the tour bus, yeah. So like everything's just falling together. Kalani's on tour, so it's gonna take a little longer to get that to get that back. Baby girl's always so, on tour, you know, like um, all of that. So. Right now, it's a process of if it was just Tokyo on this album, y'all would get it ASAP. But I want to make sure that everything is right. There's no extra thread hanging. I need this to be like, this to, This this is going to be my baby. This is the first album. This is going to be an album that, like... Do we know what the name's going to be? Um, <sighs> There's a few names in the air right now. What are we leaning towards? But, um... I don't know. I don't want to say too. I don't want to say it too yet. Okay. Say it too soon. Yeah. But um, it's something very simple. Made in Tokyo. It's very simple. So um, like I don't know. And then you gotta think when you get done and you play your project, you might come up with something else and be like, oh, this is it. So like I haven't got all the records like yeah. done, so I can't really call it what it's gonna be. But um, until it's fully completed. But um, it's sounding turnt right now. It's I so like far it. like the 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 four like i say from metro to um to k switch who did uber and skateboard p to my homie ricky who did production on mad city yeah collie greens yeah like you got a mixture of like a lot of producers in there um to pharrell it's gonna be crazy like i'm just i'm just blessed that you know, I'm just blessed that they rocking with me, man. Exactly. Like, you know, like I'm like well, just keeping it being like I'm I'm like I'm I'm blessed that they rocking with me and I got a good team behind me. I got good management. Um <sighs> Skateboard P is thirteen on urban charts, like yeah. on the radio. Like I'm just blessed. I'm blessed that the radio playing me. Like you know, I'm well, not just, this is the, just the beginning. I'm maybe. just not the SoundCloud rapper, <laughs> you know. Up. Like you know, you feel me? Like Shut you know, up. like you know, like so. I'm 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 blessed, man. I got a kid. Like I'm just happy right now. Well, that's, that's good. good. Well, I'm I'm excited for you on tour, yeah. Big Sean. New album to come this summer. Yes. And I'm telling you, the Bay Area is gonna go crazy when you drop those records with Kaylani or the G Easy record yes. drops. So yes. I'm and sure I'm we'll about see to you hit Neff up too. Now you just put that in the air. Neff. Gotta, gotta make it happen, brother. We gotta make that happen. Even if it's just like a, I'm sure a you'll loose, probably be there tonight. A loose single that we could just throw out there to turn people up. That'd be cool. Just have Neff come in and do the ad libs. That's cool. That's all you need. Even oh, shout out to um. Shout out to Susie, I am Sue, and yeah. the whole like the whole the whole bay. You know, um, Young L hit me up to send me some beats really? from the pack. Like you know, like I got like a few like just random like to where me and Lil B show love to each other on Twitter all the time. Yeah. So like you know, it's just a mixture of like the bay. Like I said, it's like it's like second second home. It feels good. We tend to do that. My little brother, my, like my older, actually my older brother was born in Oakland. Really? And my parents met in the Bay Area. Word. So like, it, it might just be all of that. It might just be that, but um, 
You yeah. might be coming back here real soon. Yeah, basically. of course, of course. <laughs> I'm like, I like the weather out here. Nice. It ain't too cold. It ain't too hot. You know, like I could like layer up or I could wear shorts and a hoodie or be whatever. Good. And I'm weird like that. I wear the hoodie with the shorts. So, you, you, good. Like, you know, don't worry about it. That's the Bay Area lifestyle right there. Now, yeah. if people want to follow you and see what's going on, check in on this album. Everything, find you? everything is made in TYO, but it's made in Tokyo, not Tayo, not TO. It's made in Tokyo. Everything is TYO. Your Instagrams, your, your Snapchats, your, wow. your Twitter, your YouTube. Um, merch, whatever. Type in Private Club Records. You get all of that. Is is there? Well, congratulations, brother. Thank Appreciate you so much you. for checking Appreciate in. Appreciate you. Y'all yeah. see our nails? These things is like glittering. Poppin'. You feel me? Pop. <laughs> you yeah, girl, man, Shay we Diddy. Out here. It's made in Tokyo. What else? Yeah. Yeah.